does a little dance with the devil And everybody's got a little hole in the middle Everybody does a little dance with the devil And you know I'm evil now And you shout it loud and proud Saying I'm born in the USA And you know I'm evil now And you shout it loud and proud Singing born on in the USA I never killed a person before today, and I don't want to do it again. But you are really pushing your luck. Dale, get the duffel bag. We're out of here. Oh my god. I thought I'd lost you. Me too. My legs are shaking. Vince, you can't try to fight these people. I know why you did it, but you just can't. I was scared. I wasn't thinking. I know. I just... I don't want to lose you. Believe me, I don't want to lose anyone. Daddy, did they hurt you? Oh, sweetie, I'm fine. <sighs> Two days from now, we'll be in St. Louis, and it'll be like none of this ever happened. <gasps> Guys. We're not going anywhere. Fuck! It's Dante. He'll get us out of here. You got more faith in him than I do.
This is Sheriff Romero of the Two Rock County Sheriff's Department. But you assholes know that already. The good news is, in Arizona, burglary is a Class 3 felony. You can practically get off with a warning. The bad news is, your dipshit's broken to my house with my goddamn wife home. Jay, check they can't get in the back. You people are smart, you'll save me some trouble and just give yourselves up. Keep the ringer on in there. I'm gonna call you to negotiate your surrender. We're not talking with this asshole. Right? Take him in the back there, and destroy that radio. Dante will get us out. He's too strong-minded for his own good half the time, but he gets things done. <laughs> You sound like you know him pretty well. It's a small town. Everyone knows everyone. Wonder if he knows Ash isn't here tonight. Ash is your son? Yeah. Best thing I ever did. We're sitting ducks here. I say we stick to the plan. Take our chances with a hostage. The back gate's chained up. There's no way in. Tyler, I don't know. Maybe we should just give ourselves- Don't say it. Romero's impatient, and these small town cops couldn't catch a cold. Our best move is to wait. <sighs> is someone gonna get that? The police are gonna catch you and put you in jail. You cut it out or I'll put you in a corner. Hey! You can't talk to my granddaughter like that. She's six years old. She's just speaking her mind. Yeah, I'm speaking my mind. Enough! Next person who talks is going in the back office. There's a second phone back there. If you could reach Dante without them knowing. Hey guys. What do bank robbers eat for dessert? Uh, Heist cream. You get it? <laughs> You're an idiot. You know that? I mean, it was kind of funny. You see? He gets it. You just don't have a sense of humor. All right, that's it. Into the back. No. Don't separate us. He'll stay quiet. Michelle, it's fine. It's not fine. None of this is fine. I think you both need a little time out. Jay? Make sure nobody answers the damn phone. <laughs> Keep your mouth shut, and don't make me come in here again. What was that all about? There's a second phone. If the sheriff calls again. Good thinking. Can you get your hands free? No good. That's too tight. All right. How do we do this? Friction, maybe. Or we use scissors. Or we use scissors. Think you can knock that pen holder to the floor? <sighs> That's it. It's gonna fall. Try to cover the noise. I'll cough. On three. One. Two. If it's the cops, they're gonna keep calling. Can you reach the scissors? <laughs> Quick, I'll block the door. I'm in the Desert Dream Motel. Can you connect me directly to the Sheriff? This is Sheriff Romero. Who am I talking to? My name is Vincent Walker, and I'm... My family, we're hostages in here. Whoa, slow down there, Vince. Now, I 
I can help you. But you gotta relax those nerves first, all right? I may not have much time. Look, I need to know. Where's my deputy? He's... They sh shot him. He's dead. Hello? We called him Big Sam. He was a good man. What else can you tell me about what's going on in there? The people doing this? There's three of them. The manager said they're the, um, the Holt boys? Oh, no shit. <laughs> well, that explains a few things. Yeah? Like what? It's a long story. But tonight's gonna be the end of it. What else? You're good. Keep going. The youngest brother, the one they call Jay? He's just a kid. I don't even think he wants to be here. Probably bullied into it, but listen. It's good to identify <laughs> a weak link for us and, and for you. Hey! They've blocked the door! Shit! Vince, this door won't hold. Joyce and Paul are both doing okay. Yeah, Joyce is tough. I always told her she could have been a cop if she wanted. How about a kid? He's at a friend's house, I think. Oh, that's good. I'm almost out of time. Listen, Vince, we're gonna put an end to this thing. Sooner than you think. Just keep your eyes open, okay? Next time you talk to one of my hostages behind my back, I take him to the window and shoot him. <laughs> Keep your people 30 yards from the motel and don't call us again. <laughs> what did you tell him? Nothing. I didn't have time. <laughs> You're lying to me. He's not. They barely said hello. These cops, they might work for the county, but they are loyal to him, and he does not care about any of us. And you do? Leaving you two alone together was a dumb Let idea. Let go! That hurts! You should never have come to Two Rock. So, let's see. Twelve years as a flight mechanic. Pretty high up. Then, one day, bam. Bits of engine all over the hangar. Two workers hospitalized, and another in the morgue. All because you left a lug nut loose on a DC-10. No, that wasn't me. It was a faulty compressor disc. The airline was cutting corners. I kept warning them, but... It's still your word against theirs. My advice? Sign the form. Take the money. It's a generous offer. It's a gag order. If I sign that, it's professional suicide. Look, keep the check. It won't even cover my rent for a year. All I want... Is my job back. Mr. Walker, with all due respect, you'll never work for an airline again regardless. Now, do yourself a favor. Pick up the pen. You can stick your gag order and your pen right up your ass! Oh, so you do have a little fight left in you. Hello? Sorry. You're probably busy packing. I just picked Zoe up from swimming. We'll be home soon. Everything okay? Oh, uh... Yeah, yeah, I just... I just had the strangest dream. I was back in the lawyer's office. A dream? At this time of day? While I was packing, you know, like... Dreaming about our, our new life in Missouri. 
as long as everything's boxed up and in good shape for the landlord. I know this move is a big step and tons of stress, but I've got a really good vibe about it, Vince. We'll be back by seven. I'm just gonna pick up Chinese. <sighs> Zoe! Sorry, gotta go. Sure, okay, but... <sighs> I can't believe I fell asleep. All right, big man. You got until seven to get this apartment ship shape and ready to go. Where do you want to start? A bit of a cool start to the day, gradually getting warmer with a high of around 93 degrees. Mostly dry with a humidity of around 69. Well, the weather's the same as here, at least. Come on, Tony. If Jordan can do it, you can do it. Oh, what the hell, ref? My kid can make a better call than that. If there's anything like the cold air unit on a flight deck, there should be... Well, this is obviously alien technology. Cool ethereal thermostat control. It's AC by Vince. Yeah, we're good. We're good. What's next? Some dreams never get off the ground. All right, on the home stretch now. like a lifetime ago now. Daddy! Hi, Pumpkin. How was your last day? Okay, I guess. Really gave me her address, but I'm gonna miss her. No, I hear you. It's a big change for everyone. We'll write to her as soon as we get to St. Louis. Okay, gotta help Mommy now. Why don't you run upstairs and get your PJs on? Are you gonna put me to bed tonight? Sure thing, kiddo. <laughs> I know you worked hard today, so I got you your favorite. Mmm, hmm, shrimp. By the way, did the moving company call? Um, nope. Hey, I know I said I was nearly done, but, um... What happened? To be honest, I kinda... fell asleep on the couch. I know, I know. Are you feeling okay? I'm fine. Just that dream I had about the... You know what, never mind. You remember what you told me when I got laid off from the tax office? Make sure you empty the stationery cupboard on your way out? <laughs> no. You told me that change only hurts when you try to stop it happening. And you were right. If I hadn't gotten laid off, I would never have finished my PhD application or gotten my job at the university. I get it. Focus on the positives. God, I'm starving. Zoe's already eaten, but I haven't had a chance all day. 
I'll get her ready for bed when you get noodled up. <laughs> Come on. Let's get your jammies on. So, how are you feeling about the move tomorrow? Looking forward to it? I dreamed that the movers took my my star lamp. And I was so scared because I never sleep in the dark. Hey, you know what? I had a bad dream recently about something I can't get off my mind and I wish I could. Was it about the dark? No, but the thing about dreams is maybe sometimes they're trying to tell us something. Like what? When we're scared of something, like the dark, our imagination can make it seem a lot worse. But when the sun comes up, you realize there was nothing to be afraid of. Until it gets dark again. Try and get some sleep, okay? <laughs> Love you, all the way to the moon. I want mommy. Ugh, this moving company better show up tomorrow. How hard is it to send a confirmation message? Settled already? Mommy! <sighs> Coming, love bug. Well, there you go. I bet that's them right now. Who's Bruce? Why did the lights go out? It's a power outage. We get them all the time here. It's no outage. It's the damn sheriff. Gail, keep a lookout. On it. I need to get the hell out of here. Take her upstairs and keep her quiet. Don't. That's not necessary. And make sure the windows are locked. Jay, now. Come on. I'll take care of you. You. A place like this gotta have a generator. There's one out back, but it doesn't work. Okay. So, uh, That's the desk. The Hairpin. Could be useful. Go do it. Not getting out that way. Hey, hey. see us. Get some rope. We should tie up the hostages. Hey, did you hear something? I'll check the back door. <laughs> Zoe's so he's up there. She's scared of the dark. <laughs> They're coming for you. You know that, right? Shut up, Joyce. I'm serious. Should we run? Take our chances cross country? Just keep quiet. Let me think. Zoe, it's me, Pumpkin. It's Daddy.
Jones, I don't know what else to do. Hey, it's me. It's Vince. I'm coming in. Daddy! I didn't hurt her. I promise. I know. I hurt. Zoe, you okay? Daddy, I, I don't want to be here anymore. I know you said not to be scared, but I am. I am too, Pumpkin. It's okay. Let it all out. Do you think they're gonna try to come in? They're probably just checking things out. They're not gonna try anything. You think? Yeah. You're cool. Listen, I'm gonna get us out of here before before the lights come back on, okay? With mommy and grandpa? Of course. We won't leave them behind. You guys all right? Oh, you found her. Thank God. Where are the Holtz? I think they went out the back. We need to get out of here. Give me your wrists. Are you hurt? No. Are you? Everybody down! Don't shoot! We're hostages! Stay down and don't move. Where are the perps? Dangerous. I'm not dying in this goddamn motor lot. What the hell are you doing? Grandpa! <laughs> Sanchez is hit! I knew this was a bad idea. Fall back! Fall back! Hold fire! Repeat, hold your fire! I said 30 fucking yards! You try that again, and every last one of them leaves in a body bag! Oh. Jim. Jim, can you hear me? Oh, jeez. All right. Okay. Vince? Is Grandpa uh. hurt? I don't know, honey. Jim, are you okay? Dad, he needs an ambulance. Get him an ambulance. He looks all right. Maybe just a concussion. It's not just that. He's got a brain tumor. If he got hit in the wrong spot or something. Oh, shit. You still with us, Grandpa? Oh, God. This is, this is all my fault. If I hadn't been so hell-bent on making amends. Hey, are you with us? Uh. 
Uh, Why'd you sprint for the door like that, huh? I shouldn't have come back. I never even paid the bill. What bill? Jim, what are you talking about? Uh, I'll, I'll be all right. I, I just need a, a minute to, to get my... Easy now. He needs to see a doctor. How'd you get caught so quick, huh? The cops, they... I didn't have time to hide. Lucky you got me around to bail you out. Uh. Dale, go see if you can barricade the second floor. Mm. What? No, no, stop. You listen to me. What I want is a helicopter or I start killing hostages. Huh? That's right. And safe passage to Mexico. Mexico? Since when? Since now. Look, you boys are in way over your heads. You couldn't even nail a burglary. Now you want a helicopter. Spare me the lecture. Can you do it? I'll look into it. First, I need a show of faith. Let one of the hostages go. I ain't much of one for faith. All right. So let's make it practical. You must be hungry for a hot meal. All right. How about we send you food, you release a hostage, and then I start on that helicopter. Does that work? Pizza. Enough from that shitty joint in town. Franco's. Bet you delight. Give me 20 minutes. <sighs> Good news, folks. One of you's going home. Finally got confirmation from the movers. Tomorrow morning. Good to go. Hmm. At least we get one last California sunset. Thirteen years ago, I couldn't wait to leave St. Louis. First person in the family to go to college. <laughs> My mom. I'll never forget that look of pride as she waved me goodbye. But you know what? I never realized how proud I'd feel to be going back. I just wish it didn't involve so much stuff. Ugh. Is there anything more stressful than moving? I hear divorce is stressful. <sighs> anyway, tonight is our last night. And it seems so long since we, you know. Mm. So, how about we make it one to remember? Wake Zoe. Hello? Well, thank you. It's been nice working with you, too. Oh, I'm sure you'll all do just fine without me. Hey, do you mind if I, um... <gasps> Vince! Hi, is this Bruce? Uh, can you put Michelle back on? It is Bruce, right? Yeah, it's Bruce. So? I hear you like cupcakes. Vince, give me the phone. Weird, he hung up. Have you been looking at my phone? What are you fighting about? <sighs> Zoe. Hey, you should be in bed. I, I couldn't sleep. Daddy. Yes, sweetie? We'll always live together, right? You, me, and mommy?
Why would you ask that? Hannah's parents used to argue, and now they don't get to live together anymore. Don't worry, honey. We're not doing that. So, uh, this Bruce dude. Hmm? Oh, he's just one of the macroeconomics lecturers. We did some research together on the Ecuador financial crisis. There isn't much else to say. You never said anything about him before. I have. Plenty of times, but whenever I try to talk about work, you switch off. I don't switch off. I just don't remember you talking about him. Let's forget about all this. Don't let it ruin our last night. We've got a long few days ahead of us. Something about it doesn't add up. You've been working late, more than usual. Because I... Because I'm changing schools. I need to leave on a high note. You know, last week you said that you had to stay in great papers. But you came back smelling of... of wine. And perfume. Look at me. Vince. I know things have been hard. This last year wasn't a great one for us. But nothing happened between me and Bruce. Can you please believe me? <sighs> I'm sorry. <sighs> Maybe I overreacted. It's just, yeah. like you said, I've lost a lot this year. Don't want to lose you, too. I know. It's all right. Now come here. Wait, wait. Are you okay? No, it's fine. I'm just, um... I'm just tired. With the move and everything. Yeah. Uh, we better get some sleep. We have a long drive tomorrow. Good night. Night. Vince? I'm worried about your dad. Head injuries, bad enough on their own. But if he's got something up there pushing against his brain... How's he doing? In pain. But he wants Zoe to be the one sent out. And Vince, he's right. We've seen what these people are capable of. Please, just get her somewhere safe. Okay, I got your veggie pizzas. You want to get them while they're hot, so send me a hostage. Come on, old man. You're going for a walk. Uh, uh, not me. Please. T take Zoe. I'm... Uh, well, uh, there's nothing wrong with me. I don't care who goes, but only one of them. Jim, you have a head injury. You're getting an MRI. That's the end of it. Please. I don't need a hospital. Take him out, grab the food, come on back. I'm watching you, Vince. When I bump my head, Mommy puts ice on it. Maybe I'll try that. I love you, kiddo. Hey. 
Look, you dropped this. <laughs> Her name's Owl. Owl, huh? You know they can see in the dark. Okay, they're coming out. Stay right where you are. Guys, uh, two more hostages exiting the front of the building. Wait, where's Zeus? Where you got hit in the head. Is it on the same side? It's what? That's the tumor. Oh, God. Uh, Vince, there is no tumor. How hard were you hit? You were diagnosed a year ago. It's in your parietal lobe. It's not real. I made it up. What? Look, a year or so ago, my closest friend Tony passed, and, and suddenly I was alone. My brother was long gone. I had no other family, just you. So I started to imagine being a father again. But you weren't gonna let me back in your life after so many years, not without a good reason. No. No, 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 no. Tell me this is the concussion talking. That whole thing about coming to live with us? Vince, I don't know why I did it. I wish I hadn't. I guess I've just been lying to people for so long I can't tell the difference anymore. I knew it. I knew it, and I didn't listen. Oh. You're the same lying son of a bitch you always were. I know, Vince. And I'm sorry. Hey, hurry it up! Everything good I've ever had, I've ruined. My marriage, my health. Son, I lied because I want a family. I want you, I want Zoe. If we survive tonight, please, give me another shot. You think I'm ever gonna trust you again? Goodbye, Jim. Take care of yourself. Tell Zoe, tell her I'll always be there if she wants me. I should go before he recognizes me. What? Can I get a paramedic here? <laughs> I'm Sheriff Romero. And I guess you must be Vince. Yeah, that's me. Give him the food and send him back in. I know how hard this must be for you, Vince. But I've got good news. Yeah? We're about to have a man on the inside. Now pick him up and don't do anything stupid. Hey, don't forget the napkins. Two-way pager. I'll be in touch soon. Enjoy your pizzas! Hey, it's the pizza guy. You're late. No tip. Well, what do you know? A cop kept his word. Pizza ain't hard. A helicopter, though. Look, I know you didn't want this, but you got Romero wrapped around your finger. You did. I really hope you're right. I spent 10 years saving up for this place. Ash only just started to feel at home. How can we stay here now? We'll give the walls a fresh coat of paint. Replace the glass, you'll see. It'll be good as new. It's not the walls. 
It's what happened within them. Huh. Did Grandpa see a doctor? He's seeing one now, honey. He'll be all right. Strange thing, though. I think he knows the sheriff. Really? How? He didn't say. But I met him and he was... Uh... What? Clever guy. Plans within plans, if you know what I mean. Is that a good thing? I mean, for us? You want my take? Steer clear. Now, don't share this, but Dante's a cousin of mine, and him being sheriff? Ain't no one in the family thought that was a good idea. What are you doing? I'm gonna fill it with leftovers. Jay, you gonna eat? I'm not hungry. I want it to be over, Tyler. All of it. It'll be over when we win. You remember that? And do your part. You need some goddamn food. Share that with the rest of us? Um, nope. Don't think I do. Are you serious? Are you deaf? Hmm? No, you can't have any. can't have any. There's six pizzas. For us. So back the fuck off. You asshole. Paul has low blood sugar. It's fine. I'll eat from the vending machine. We don't get to eat? No. I said no. The answer is no. Come on, man, just share the food. Here you go, getting all up in my shit again. Why should I, huh? Isn't it worth a few slices to shut everyone up? If I wanted to shut them up, I'd just fucking do it. They giving you problems? Nah, I got this. Shit. Sorry. Idiot. <laughs> Clean it up. Mm. You know what the trouble with you is? You get too fucking involved. If you just stayed quiet to begin with, we'd be gone by now. <laughs> Never thought of it like that. What you don't get is, this ain't us. We needed money, but it's not like... Tyler, he built shit. Jay's into nature. Me? Yeah, I robbed the liquor store once, but I'm getting a job soon. There's this girl I got my it's eye not on. not here. Though, why Jessica would date me after this shit, I got no idea. This girl, Jessica, you want to tell me about her? No, I don't want to fucking tell you about her. She's none of your goddamn business or anybody else's. In fact, don't ever say her name again. Hey, I was just trying to, you know... What? Be my friend. Go fuck yourself, asshole. So, uh, does that mean no pizza? I don't think pizza's happening, guys. <gasps> oh, I wasn't hungry anyway.
You got my helicopter? Yeah, I got it. The FAA's cleared you to cross between Mexicali and El Paso. Now, uh, before I authorize the landing, I want to have a talk about why you picked my house. Face to face, out front, where there's no deal. What's he playing at? Some kind of trap? Maybe. But right now, we need to play his game. How about I go? I got some things I could say to him. No way. I told Ma I'd look after you. It's all right. I put my big boy pants on today. You mess with us, it's the hostages who pay. You'll be fine. You have my word. Pizza boy, you and I are going for a stroll. Hey, tell Dante he better get us out of here. You have to hold me so tight. It's not my fault your neck's so fat. I'm coming out! God damn. I can't wait to be on a beach somewhere. Eating tamales, drinking tequila. <clears throat> You're almost there. Just keep a cool head. Mm -hmm. Cool head, right. Sound like Tyler. Come on, please make it back. Guess who? Dale Holt. I was expecting your brother. Merry fucking Christmas. Vince, didn't think I'd see you again so soon. Well, that's reassuring. Hmm. You know, you were small time before today. That ugly assault a couple summers back. Some petty theft. Oh, but now look at you. You boys sure have made a name for yourselves. I'll do you one better, jackass. I pissed in your lemonade. Anyway... I believe you have something of mine. My black book. Where is it? The fuck are you talking about? Don't play games with me! Step closer and I blow his fucking head off, I swear. Tell me where it is. I told you already. I don't know anything about that. Have it your way. Sniper on the fucking water tower. We ain't getting that chopper, are we? Vince! It's okay. I'm alright. 